Well, part two, before we continue, um, update. This thing tested silver. So it may say something about it here. I just, it says Brazil, and that's as far as I could get. This one says BS and then 80, so I think it's 800. So maker's mark and 800. These two, it is stamped 925 on this ring but it is very hard to read and something else is stamped on there as well. So the, uh, it's just like treasure trove today. <clears throat> I don't know how that happened, but maybe they can keep doing that. All right. Pretty. That looks like a um, aquamarine in there. It almost looks silver too, but it's not going to be marked. I don't think. So. That's real pretty, though. I don't think the... I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty. Here's another one of those buttons with a different color. that way. That way. Okay, this is another one. It's silver plated, I guess. It has that kind of purpley. It's a brooch or a pendant and it's not marked. It has that purpley look to it. At least I don't think it's marked. No, I don't see a mark. Another little angel pen. It's a pretty earring. Let's see if it's marked. Nope. Well, it's got a maker's mark on the back. It says PD. It says PD on the back. I don't know who PD is. I don't see any other indication of silver. That's a nice crystal in there. Pretty. There's a match to that one. I like things being in baggies. That's neat. It's uh, some kind of charm. See if it has a mark. No, it looks like it's. I'm surprised it doesn't have a mark. It looks like it's Brighton or something, sort of. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in the bag just to keep that. Keep it like it was. <clears throat> Here's a match to that other one, but it just doesn't have the ear thing. Boy Scouts of America pen. All these pens I'll put, I'll get another lot started. Oh, here's a. Now, this is not by a machine, this is probably done by a train or something. It's um, Washington Penny. I mean, the, the memorial, the Lincoln Memorial's on the back. 
I think it's not a zinc one, so it's before the 80s. I like that. That's pretty cool. City of New Orleans, the key to the city of New Orleans, and it says something under here. K. Rower, New Orleans, L.A. So I don't... That's kind of unusual. I need to look that up. Here's another similar ring. It's either Bakelite or... I don't really know what it is. Some kind of plastic. Red ribbon type earring. Enamel. This says USA. And it looks like it's... A writing quill and ink. Baloo registered. Oh, that's pretty cool little pen there. I like that. Here's another one of those little frames, and it's uh, in another language, probably French or something. I need to look up what that is. Here's an earring. Looks like it could be silver, but... No. Well, no, now the middle, the stuff that's putting it together, but the actual earring is not magnetic. I don't think there's a mark. I'll have to set that to the side. Pretty brooch. It's marked. Look at that. <clears throat> it's marked. Capri. Any info on Capri would be appreciated. It's pretty. Just making sure it's not I don't think it's broken no it's not broken that's pretty it's nice and heavy as well this says Amway pretty cool and it's marked at the bottom Levens I guess Levens made the little pin Levens Amway. Whoa, I like that. Pretty ring. It's not marked, I don't think. It feels warm, so I think that's plastic, but it's pretty. I mean, it's not, you can wear it, it's not, it'll clean up. You know, <clears throat> might could use a little polishing, but it's not junky. There's a match, we've had this earlier. Uh, I forgot what, yeah, it was uh, Napier. Here's another ring. I like all these rings. It's like a plastic with a rose looking thing in there and handmade wire. Pretty cool. Tiny little. Yeah, now that's real. It was very rough on the teeth. Whoops. It's real. I don't see any like stamps on the little loop there. I knocked, I knocked y'all around there. There you go. I'm put it over here. <clears throat> Here's a brooch with fake money. Very thin. Mm, 
this looks like it would be something for a scarf, I think. Hey, here's a stone. I believe it's black. Stone on a little pendant. It's pretty. This thing is sliding, sliding on me. Here's another brooch. Pretty, vintage looking. This, I forget, is this for the scarf clip? It's kind of a cheap one there. This is Boy Scouts of America. I think it's Boy Scouts, a tiny little pin. Tiny little pin there. Uh, this says Image Watch. It's part of a watch thing. What is this? This used to clip together somehow. This side does the same. What is it? Is that an earring of some sort? That's an awful long, whoops, then it came apart. This says something. This here says something. Just trying to focus on that in the back, isn't it? It's a lot of words across there. It feels light. Let me see if I can make it out. 120th 12K Goldfield NS Guard B-A-B, -B. a guard bab. So this is some gold filled in here. I'll put that in my little treasure box. We'll take a little gold fill. That says alpaca again, I bet. It's another one of those alpacas. That's pretty, but it's broken off of something. It's like it's copper. We got some writing on the back here. Oh, that's right. Gold, baby, gold. We've got gold in them there, Hills. <laughs> yes. We got some gold. Let me make try to get it the right side up. 14K. TC. That is fantastic. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I need to look that up. It's kind of unusual. A little boy's profile there. And I'm telling you what, this is this bag just keeps on giving. I'm Yep, gold fever, y'all. I'm telling you, there's just nothing like it. Hold on. Hang on just a minute here because there's some letters, there's some numbers. On oh, this is an earring, there's something written on the ear part, but that may not mean the whole thing. Um, there's some like a maker's mark or a name in here. I think it says stir, 
sterling. This is sterling, so it's gold-plated sterling, which there's a name for it. And then what are these little... These are just little grooves. These are little grooves. And then this ear ring part. I do not want to drop it. I think it says 14K on the earring part. Yep, 14K. And then the maker's mark is like a AL. So, it's, I don't know, feels very heavy. So I don't know if part of this is 14K or just this little ear part. But then this says sterling, so I'm just gonna say that, that the main part is sterling. It's gorgeous. Wow, I mean, I'm just stunned, shocked. This must go to that other little thing. <clears throat> Throw that over there. Milan. We might have to look into that. Milan, water resistant. It looks vintage. I'll look into that. Another button cover. That one's green. And there's still more to come. Another big ring costume. If you like big rings, this is the big ring lot, people. Big rings today. We had this one earlier. This is nice, too. I'm not a bangle person simply because they're too hard to get on. That's a pretty one. Rose brooch, enamel, really pretty nice. I don't see a name on it. Beautiful. Another button. This is like a big pendant. I believe, right? I mean, is, doesn't it go on a necklace? It's huge. Huge. What is this? Some kind of cloth. Is this brownies? Oh, I was a brownie once. That's a keeper. That is so cool. That's got to be a little brownie. Nice. This is the necklace to those other earrings. I don't know if the necklace is broken or not. No, it's not. It's not bad. GDK. It's a, I'm not sure what kind of dog it is. Is it a German Shepherd? What is the GDK for? GDK. Okay. Little earring. There's some writing on here. 1977. Well, that's old. Um, well, not old, but considered vintage. DC Comics Incorporated, 1977. What would go through here, though? not sure how that works. What is going on here? This says something too, y'all. It's a like a Capricorn or a ram, which <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> it says Starling. And then I bumped the phone. 
I'm just stunned, y'all. I'm stunned. This bag is amazing. Amazing treasure hunt. They must have had somebody back there that was new and didn't know what they were supposed to be. Either that or they just, you know, that's a fault for a fossil watch. Here's another tiny little Cub Scout. Here's that for the people. I mean, for that one family. Why would you donate all those? That's kind of sad. Just all these cute little kids. Terrible. It's a little barrette. I'm just happy, happy, happy. I'm going to put this little scout thing. What is... Oh. Is there another piece to it? Hold on. Let me just see. Is this in the real one? That's rough as well. Feels like a real one. Okay. Missing the feet. I think it's pewter. It looks like pewter. Looks like pewter. So this part is gone. Romel, 1974, and this is like a bunch of dogs, it says CD in the middle, it says Italy on the bottom, and then it has another mark, I cannot make out this mark. There it says Italy, and then there's another mark over here. That could be sterling, but it should say it on the back, shouldn't it? I think it has to do with, like, the artist who came up with the image of these dogs. So I'll look all that up. And here we have some stars on an earring. I don't think there's anything on it. I'm just, ever since I found the gold, it's like, Wow, nice chunk of real gold. I've never found a nice chunk of real gold, I don't think, in a jewelry jar. I have got to look up this company. Vintage, made in Taiwan, music. Nice little pen. All right, let's just dump out the rest. That's it for that. And I do save tokens. Mid Cities Mary Menagerie, 1982. I like tokens. That all started with metal detecting. That's a pretty one there. Having a sip of tea. This is pretty. The rings are actually nice. I'm not sure if any of those are real, if that's a real amethyst or not. But they're 
and they're not open on the back so it's probably just a glass or something but I don't know it looks pretty real actually another ring Another ring. I tested this. Here's the um, the match. I tested it during the break, and it's not sterling. But it's a neat design. This one is not in as good a shape as its match. Let me see if there's anything. No, it's just uh, totally costume. Heart ring. Another ring. It's pretty. I don't see any stones missing. I love rings. They just have to be my favorite. That's a nice one. I forget what this is called. This is it cloisonne. So we've got some unicorn themes in this bag. Gemini. There you go, Gemini. Nineteen eighty eight, Atlanta, Georgia, Gemini. This is just a little piece that goes on something. I don't think it's real. This is was a some kind of ring. It looks like it. I cannot make out what that's supposed to be. Little Santa guy. We have a maker's mark. Beatrix. He's nice. Little Beatrix Santa enamel pin. Here's another match to that other. I guess they're supposed to be like that. It's just so unusual that there's nothing in there. This has, is this New Orleans? New Orleans. This thing feels super light, probably um, aluminum, I bet. Let me see. It says France. And it looks like Joseph. On the back, there's a car. Oh, St. Christopher. Protect us. It's not going to be sterling, but I've never, uh, I've been wanting to come across a St. Christopher. Of course, I want to metal detect one, and I have never done that. Nor find one in the dumpster. Just a little stretchy ring. Okay, we're getting down to the wire here. This is... B-A-L-A-U registered. There's the pretty button cover. It's another pretty ring stretchy. Here's a another one of those rings with maybe some crystals or something on there. A little handmade ring. Another ring. No markings. 
the little family. Vintage clip on. And that's this will be the oh and another one of these uh, Boy Scouts. So we'll end on this one. It's a pretty ring. Not it's not missing any stones. You make sure there's not any markings in there. It doesn't look like it would be precious metal. I want to thank y'all for joining us. It's the bag of the get big rings. We got gold, we got silver, and we had a great time. Thank y'all. See y'all next time for these other three bags over here. We probably just went through the best one, though. <laughs> All right, see y'all next time.